Form an imaginary line from that right boot down to the aiming point. The first thing he's going to do is, one, drop to his knees. Two, break the fall with the right hand and ensure that muzzle's elevated and pointed downrange in a safe direction. Three is the key. Say it. Three is the key. Three is the key. Extension and inversion. Inversion means you invert the elbow toward the center of your body. And you're doing that to get that left arm right underneath the rifle so the re rifle will recoil vertically like that. If you just arbitrarily place the arm out like that, your rifle will recoil laterally when it shoots. So you invert that left elbow and get that left arm directly under the weapon. You're closing up that angle on that sling. If you look down and you see a big angle on your sling, you, don't, you know you don't have that left arm inverted. Four, take the heel of the hand and push forward on the butt of the weapon. See how he puts the heel of his hand? He doesn't grab it with his fingers. He takes the heel of the hand and he drives the weapon forward and he places it in as close to his neck, right underneath the skull. Five, he reaches up and establishes grip. And six, the right elbow comes down naturally. Now, if I stand over him, I can see that that left arm is directly underneath the rifle. And I can also see that his shoulders are relatively level. If I look at a shooter and I see that he's way cocked up like this, I know that he's not got his left arm underneath the rifle. Another thing that you might experiment with is you might experiment with just tucking that right arm in just a little bit. Do that. Just tuck the right arm in just a little bit. That firms up your position. And then you want to draw this right leg up and you want to get this foreleg here in line with your forearm. That's called creating the Olympic X. It's an X. This left leg here should virtually work so it's parallel with the muzzle of the rifle. When you Marines are working together, you want this left leg parallel with the muzzle of the rifle. And you want this right leg so it is in line with the forearm, forming that, elect, forming that X. When you work on this position, it's very fundamental. And when you do it the same way each and every time, shooter stand. So when you get ready to go down in this position, you're going to think that when you stack on that imaginary line, you're also going to lay down on the left side of your body. That gets your fat hay bag like I've grown since I retired. I didn't used to have that. Stop looking at my gut, Sergeant. But anyway, you get your gut and your, abdom your abdominal abdomen up off the deck so it isn't pressing down on you, creating strain and pulse beat. So when you go down, you're going to lay on the left side of your body. One, drop to your knees. Two, break the fall with the right hand. Three is the key. Say it. Three Extension and inversion of that forward elbow. You notice how he's trying to extend and invert that left elbow. You want to get not on the ball of your elbow, but on the little flat portion right behind your elbow or above your elbow. That's the portion you want to place down on the deck and prone. That little flat portion above your elbow. Inverting that elbow, getting it underneath the weapon. Four, he takes the right heel of the right hand, drives that weapon forward, places it up high in his shoulder, in close to his neck. You notice how he's not playing around. He's making sure he's got it in there directly under his skull. He reaches up with that straight trigger finger, and he tucks that right elbow in just a little bit. And the last one is called adjust. Let's say it together. Exaggerate the vowel. Adjust. adjust. And what he does is he draws that right leg up, working to get that right, that right leg in line with that with that forearm and he positions that left leg over a little bit and he makes a little adjustment and he extends a little bit. Now, he can push forward on his toes and he can lower the muzzle of the weapon. Do that. See how the muzzle of the weapon went down? He can pull back on his toes and like scrunch back and he can raise the muzzle of the weapon. Exaggerate that for me, Mick. Push forward and he's going from the bottom of the target to the top of the target by making that adjustment. That's how you adjust your natural point of aim on the target vertically with the sling on. That forward hand is completely relaxed, drawing that left hand back as far as you possibly can. 
I tell you the truth, looking at him right now, I don't like it. He's too low. His head's a little bit too low. He's a shooter on my team. He hasn't been in position much lately because he's been working, been overseas, training in Jordan and everything with Remington. But take the rifle out of your shoulder, draw that left hand back a little bit more in your sling. Now place the rifle back in your shoulder. Reach up and get that good firm grip on there. And adjust your natural point of aim vertically on the target. Push forward and backwards on your toes. That forward hand is completely relaxed. That head is completely relaxed. Your legs and everything in your, in your position is relaxed. The only tension you have in this position is right here. And it depends on how much you're going to put on it and how much it's going to make you move. Your head should be rock solid. If you look at him, his head is right over the top of the rifle like that. And that's a very fundamental position. Now, he's got to get up and down in CMP. In CMP. In NRA, you don't have to get up and down. But in CMP, you have to shoot standing to prone and standing to city um, in rapid fire. So, once he finds his natural point of aim, now if he needs to adjust his natural point of aim horizontally or from left to right on the target, if he sees that he is pointing out to the left, He'll take the rifle out of his shoulder, do that, and he'll put his right hand down on the deck, and he'll move his body slightly to the left. And then he'll put the rifle back in his shoulder. And when he does, he sees that he went a little bit too far. Now he's pointing out to the right. So he'll take the rifle out of his shoulder and put his palm down, and he'll use his forward elbow as a pivot point, and he'll move a little move to the right, and he'll put it back in his shoulder, because prep time is for two things. It's not for filling magazines. It's not for writing in your data book. It's not for adjusting your sling. It's for one thing. It's to find your natural point of aim and mark your position for rapid fire. Find your natural point of aim and mark your position for rapid fire and also dry fire. So once he finds his natural point of aim and he's reasonably satisfied that he's on the target, he'll mark his forward elbow. He'll mark it with a coin. He'll mark it with a rock. He may mark it with his second magazine, which I don't think's a problem. You know what I mark my position with? I mark it with spit. And I know it's disgusting, but I just go right in my hand and I make a big wet spot right on my mat. Because if I rub my elbow across that wet spot or something, it's still there. But if I bang my elbow across a, a coin or a magazine or a key or something like that, or a piece of brass, I can easily lose my mark. So my, my mats always have these white spots on them where I put spit. And I've been doing it for 30 years. So I take a big blob of spit in my hand and I mark my forward elbow because I'm an old weird Marine and I just wipe my hand off when I stand up. Because I don't really give a shit. If you think I'm disgusting, all I care is that I shoot 100 and you don't. <laughs> so, got my position marked. Now, if you're young and fit, you want to keep both feet in place when you stand up. Many shooters can't safely do that. Okay, real quiet now. In just a minute, I want everybody to start clapping when I nod my head. All right. That's Grant Singley. He's one of the greatest service rifle shooters in the history of the world. He's got a record that he set up at Camp Perry, which is a 1288 or something like that. One point off the bolt gunners when he was shooting up there. He's one of the most impressive service rifle shooters. And if you want to see somebody that does it fundamentally, you watch that man right there because he is the real thing. I watch him all the time and I have been for years. I knew him when he was a kid. He was a junior in my clinics when I was a Marine teaching the Marine Clinic. 1985 was 1986. 1981 was the first time we ever had it, and I was a staff sergeant. That's how old I am. I came in in 75 and retired in 2005. I feel like I am from a different, I think, feel like a dinosaur, really. But I, okay, now when you stand, you've got your forward elbow marked. You want to try to keep one or both feet in place. 